Hi Kylie, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Music has always had cinematic powers, a certain something to trigger the imagination. And which are the main issues working with movie soundtracks and then confronting with someone else's imagination? Oh, you mean with the director and the other? Yeah, yeah, in this case. Um, yeah, I mean, that's challenging sometimes. Yeah. I mean, f making film music is challenging anyway because the music is kind of more of a background thing, you know, but it has to, you know, enhance the sort of emotional content. But, um, but then you can't get in the way of the dialogue sometimes. So you're kind of like looking to find your way in the right place, you know, in the, in the film. So uh, it's, that's the biggest challenge with film music. And then sometimes the director may hear something different in his head than what you think is the right thing. So you have to kind of sell him on what your idea is. So um, and then you have to make you know you know you have to sort of figure out between the two of you which is the best way. But uh, but it's I mean it's fun. I enjoy it. You know it's totally very very different than uh, than doing jazz. You know, it's yeah. Sort of different. Uh, so. Jazz is sort of more all about freedom and. And uh, film music is a lot of, like, you know, figuring out and editing things and, and you know, trial and error sometimes. And you had the chance to meet the central figures of jazz history. Uh, you said once that they were, they influenced you. How? Well, I, I grew up near Monterey, um, in the Monterey Peninsula. And um, my parents have been going to the jazz festival there since my father was there the very first one in 1958. So I started to, they started to bring me when I, in, in like 1977, I think. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think that's what got me interested in wanting to learn how to play music is, is not just hearing records around the house, you know, which, you know, they were listening to jazz around the house, but uh, was hearing jazz live got me interested to want to learn how to play music. Uh, you played and spent your career in both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. Could we say definitely that one of the two is your favorite now? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think, so. Um, I mean, I like both, you know, yeah. but I, I mean, I think playing some of the best jazz festivals and best places to play, I think, are in Europe, you know. Italy's got great festivals and beautiful, it's a beautiful country and uh, France has great festivals and, um, you know, I play in London, on Spain and all over, so I think Europe probably has more opportunity to play jazz, I think, than, than in the United States, but, uh, but I mean, I like, you know, it's nice to, to go back, I, in the United States, my family all still lives in, in California, so, and it's nice to go back and spend some time there and, and then come and see beautiful places in Europe and, and play for great audiences. One word, one music. <laughs> your CD in transit is including your interpretation of one Italian movie soundtrack. Uh, which are the, ma the movie soundtrack authors you like better? Well, Ennio Morricone is one of my favorites, definitely. Um, um, I don't know, Henry Mancini is great. Uh, John Williams, of course, is great. You know, Hans Zimmer does some great music. You know, I've, I've worked with him years ago. and. Um, who else? Um, uh, Jerry Goldsmith was one of my favorites. Um, I know there's there's so many of them. You know, I grew up watching a lot of movies, you know? <laughs> as you can probably imagine. So I was I, lear I learned a lot of listening to a lot of a lot of film composers and a lot of, a lot of that music. And, uh, so, but I mean, I, I like all kinds of music. You know? It's all all in, all of it influences me. And about jazz in particular, it's deeply rooted history. Are there excerpts of this history that are more intriguing, interesting for you? Which, which parts are more interesting? I mean, I don't know, I like... In jazz, I think some of my favorite sort of era is around the like 50s, 50s and early 60s, you know. Was, uh, had some amazing musicians around that time and, and, and amazing... Some of my favorite records are from this time, so... So yeah, I think, you know, from about... 55 to 1965 is a good, was good, good, good 10 years of, in, in jazz, some of my favorite music from then. But I mean, I love music from the big band music, you know, I grew up hearing a lot of big band music from my parents, you know, from the, from the 40, 30s and 40s, you know, so, um, but so man, I like all of it really, but, uh, but I think around this time, you know, the Blue Note sort of era and, and Art Blakey and, uh, you know, and then some of Miles Davis' music from this time is some of my favorites. Thank you very much, Kylie. Thank you. Thanks a lot.